short legs. This is an electric bike conversion kit that I slapped onto my Carrera Vengeance mountain bike to make an e-bike. I took it on a wild adventure. It's a challenge, baby. Make it to the river, a BK. Not river e-bike. I said a BK. But we don't know whether our cheap electric conversion kits can even make it through rain. This is gonna be an adventure, baby. Hey Rasta, you owe me money, bro. Oh my shish let me shoo shoo. It's ten toes back to the e-bike. Anyway, e-bike world, e-bike adventure. We're taking this thing 50 miles to the where? River of Ebike. We got a bit of a challenge though. This is a homemade cheap electric conversion kit that I put together myself, my own wiring. It started raining. Are we even waterproof? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we make it to the river. Ebike. Not e-bike. Ebike. But our exhilarating e-bike test started with this fairy friend of ours. I am going to nickname him Mtembe. E-M-T-B in English. Giza in the background is in tube to you that's mtv is my bike rocking half a horsepower and look at this man we got ourselves one horsepower hey donkey guy can i go for a ride is that a donkey no <laughs> no oh you just got the short legs it reminds me of the See, guy from Shrek, you know? No, no, no. This bike ride is going to be an epic e-bike challenge for battery capacity. As the smallest battery we have is 10 AH, good for 35 miles. With the largest battery being 28 AH, good for 100 miles. As long as we're conservative with our throttle, we should make it. If not, we're towing each other, baby, and not making it. Getting stuck out here. This won't end well, as I can't resist opening up the throttle and sending it. For conservative battery management, when you start rolling, keep rolling. Don't stop and start, stop and start. You just use up more battery power, just like fuel in a real car. Yeah, man. Anyway, let's do some tricks for you, man, because I know you're getting bored in that. Check this out. I can put my leg on the thing, innit? It's golf again, Vlad. Come on. I think I can, I can do, obviously, no hands. Let's see. No hands. Oh, that's even hard as well. No hand, Vlad. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey. 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 Bike life, boy. Hey. Hey. What am I doing? I don't know, but we're doing it. We're living a bike life. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, we're going into bushes and that. Oh my days and I. Oi. <laughs> Ooh, look at this beautiful scenery. You like this beautiful scenery? Right? Anyway, let's concentrate. Beautiful scenery, cinematics, and all you like here. Yes, yes. There's a little waterfall. Uh huh. Yes, keep it moving. Bye. E bike random fact. Your e-bike hub motor draws more power from your battery at a slow speed. If you open up the throttle, get up to speed, you draw a lot less amps from your battery. Full throttle, less amps. Isn't that crazy? Hills kill battery capacity though. Watch out for hills. Gotta get cycling. Ooh, are you okay? Add an electric bike in the rain we started off nice and dry but the uk weather you know it switches on you might not show on camera that we're raining so i'll show you this little puddle right here as you can see twinkle twinkle little star on the puddle we're raining e-bike throttles have some sort of waterproof protection going on basically the components in here are not really damaged by water as such they can cause some small malfunctions like maybe not precise throttle etc but your bike shouldn't die just because you got a bit of water on the throttle. Your throttle is absolutely fine. The main problem with riding in the rain is your e-bike controller. That controller must be either waterproof or hidden away. Spend the extra time waterproofing your e-bike controller and you won't have problems. Free van people, free van. <laughs> Pulling through Britain, UK on our electric bikes in the rain electro power in the rain yes we go the canal looks absolutely magnificent yes and hey, look at this little birdie i don't know what these birds are called can someone please comment down below and tell me what on earth these little black birds with the orange beak are called your poor little hand is hurting now it's hurting from the twist throttle function this girl really really needs a thumb throttle make sure to sort that out we'll be upgrading it to a slightly bigger bike electric mountain bike because we do a lot of off-road trails 
that are more suited to off-road bikes. This little chopper right here is a lovely, but it's really for on-road. Damn, look at that for the picture. Absolutely beautiful, man. Cruising through the countryside, basically canal on this absolutely beautiful machinery right here. Woo, muddy over here. Let's make sure not to drop ourselves in the mud or the canal. Right, cut through and check this out. Excuse me. I'm excited because we made it through the rain. Our electric cheap conversion kit made it through the rain. But that is just a minor part of the e-bike riding challenge. The major challenge for our e-bike conversion kit is battery capacity. We still have 20 miles to go. Our 10 AH battery has done 35 miles, which is what it is rated for. I'm expecting this battery to capult any moment now. It's only a matter of time. So far, so good. It's done about 40 miles, which personally I do find impressive. It was originally bought from AliExpress for 40 pounds. 40 pounds to do 40 miles? No pedaling? That's amazing. Anyways, battery's finally capult. It is tow time, baby, because this mission is not over. This challenge is not defeated. We are doing this no matter what. We're making to river a BK. We are breaking the law, riding on the pavement. I'm doing what the law requires to ride on the road which I believe is a lot more dangerous I feel like my life's at risk right now drivers gotta watch out for me what's the law saying cuz but anyway I'm doing what the law says she's learning how to get towed keep it steady keep it straight worry less about your brake just keep following and then the driver in front will keep a nice steady pace cycling my illegal mountain bike on British roads the loophole to this is I've got two modes 250 watts 1000 watts 250 watts is nowhere near enough for UK roads as I'm slowing traffic down as you can see they've got away for me but that's what the law requires this is not a cycle path or a cycle lane so I've got to be on the roads I'm following this little white line as my little safety guide is it safe to ride your electric mountain bike on the UK roads at 15 miles an hour hell no this is way too slow I feel like my life's in danger to be honest with you if I was moving at I don't know traffic speed 30 miles an hour 40 it'll feel a bit more you know like I'm keeping up with traffic I'm not being an obstruction etc this is sketchy he's doing 30 miles an hour I could be doing 30 miles an hour and not obscure people. We just follow the laws, eh? Trials and tribulations, testing our patience. We have made it all the way to River Ebike. It's not been easy. We have had to go through rain, gravel cycling, work out some bike packing on our electric converted e-bikes using a conversion kit. It's been a wild journey, but it's been worth it, baby. Check out the views. For more of our adventures, this is where I built my little custom run. You gotta click this video to check that out. It's a wild, wild build, and you can learn how to convert any bike into an electric bike. Or click this video for another EMTB adventure and Saron's gone wild.